So I'm going to give you a quick um, a video here of the one mile loop that we've completed. Um, this is behind UA Rich Mountain College in Mina. And to get to the dirt trail, you just park in the back parking lot behind the college and follow the uh, paved trail down to the lower pond. As you're getting closer to the dirt trail, you'll notice this blank cement slab there to your left, and the dirt trail is just right next to it. And starting off, you'll have a very, very slight uh, incline, and a uh, little climbing turn there, and then another little climbing turn, and this is a very slight incline. little whoopie doo section here here in just a bit you're gonna come to a Y and you can go either left or right it doesn't matter it's just one big loop So you'll cross this little dirt road. And from here the trail kind of takes a slight decline. Um, as it goes kind of down a hillside, a very mild hillside. There's a couple of uh, climbing turns in here. And a few little whoopie doos along the way. have another slight incline here after this turn you'll get back into a little bit more aggressive decline and it gets kind of tight in here Especially right here at this whoopie do. There's a couple of those. And then you'll have a, another climbing turn. Another whoopie do. And it's still kind of on a decline right now. When you get to this bench cut, it's going to start a little bit long or not wouldn't even say long but it's kind of longer incline right here when you get to the ribbon fence here you'll have a little bit of a climbing turn there Still actually doing a little climbing until you get to about this point here and then it's going to level out. From here for from here it gets kind of eh, kind of twisty turny but it's wide.
There's really not a lot of rocks or roots on this loop. Um, it's fairly smooth, really. Um, and really not that much uh, change in the grade. Uh, the few little inclines and declines that you have are pretty mild. Now right about here you start a decline and you hit the first switch back and then the second switch back still on a decline a nice big climbing turn here and kind of levels out and then you start another incline right in this area Now this little section is a little eh, tricky. Right all through here is kind of tight and twisty. And a few rocks here and there, but nothing major. We plan on kind of coming back to this area and tweaking it a little bit more. Uh, make it a little more eh beginner friendly I guess you might say now this area here was one of our big bench cuts and it brings the trail up on a ridge up out of a low lying area that we wanted to avoid because uh, worried about water standing and a little section here that we have yet to turn tread on. We kind of jumped over that for some reason. Now this little area right here where you see the orange flags is where our second loop, where I'm pointing, is going to go in and uh, I'm actually telling this to someone else, uh, but is where our second loop's going to go in. It'll start from and head back the direction I'm pointing and goes to a pond that's back over there. Kind of going to go over there by the pond and here in a minute I'll show you stop and show you where uh, this loop, the second loop, will come in at. Okay, so it's, it's going to be in this area where the second loop will come in, just right to the uh, left of that tree there that I was pointing at and to the right of that rock laying on the ground kind of about where the tree or the trail will come in 
loop two will come back and connect to loop one right here but back on loop one here uh, you kind of come up to an area where it's an old road right in here and you hang a left and you go a little ways down this road and that's probably what I'm showing now So you'll continue down this small old road until you come to a bigger dirt road and you'll hang another left. And just follow that dirt road for a little ways. This is not a real, ra a real railroad that you go over. Okay, so this dirt road is going to bring you out to a cul-de-sac. Just kind of veer off to your left once again. And hop back on the dirt road. And you'll see the little trail entrance coming up here to the right and we'll hang a right on it so basically this is where we started at a while ago and you can either ride it off to the right ride it to the left uh, you know if you want to do it clockwise or counterclockwise Either way is fine. So overall it's a pretty easy trail, there's nothing really hard or technical on it. It's not super long or anything. And so if you're down at UA Ridge Mountain and you're walking the paved trails and you see this trail, you want to go out, it's about a mile long, so a little over a mile. So uh, yeah, it's open. and. It really needs traffic on it. Now when you're coming back on this section here you probably want to slow down and be watching for people on the paved trail. We're going to kind of clear out some of that brush so you can get a better view and probably put a choke in there to kind of slow people down a little bit. <laughs> 